Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. Today we're gonna to talk about building channel presets on the Behringer Wing. So the scenario today would be, we're gonna deal with vocalists. This would de uh, work with any channel or any instrument. Um, I have six vocalists on my board, uh, but let's say I have a team of 18 vocalists and I rotate each weekend through them uh, six at a time. So I have a total of 18 vocalists and I don't wanna to have to reset the EQs during rehearsal every week. I just wanna set it, get it really dialed in save it under their name, and the next time they sing, I can recall it. I can recall it on any of the vocal mics um, you know, on the board. Let's look at the board. Vocal one here, I have labeled as Adeline. That's the lady's name that sang here. Uh, so let's say, just for exaggerated purposes so we can see what's going on, let's say Adeline needs a strong boost at 4K, and then let's say in her voice, she needs a strong cut at 1K. So this obviously probably wouldn't be an EQ you'd actually use, but I'm just trying to do this for illustration purposes. So let's say we get this really dialed in and we like it. And then in this case, um, she has a pretty big vocal range and she needs a pretty heavy compressor. So let's say we're gonna put her attack at 15, you know, the ratio at four to one, uh, with a pretty low threshold. So let's say this is working for that vocalist. Obviously it doesn't matter what the settings are. So we have a compressor set and we have an EQ set uh, for this vocalist. So when we get really happy with that, we're gonna go ahead and save that so we can recall it next time. So we're gonna go to library and we're gonna go to channel presets. Now you do have to have um, firmware 2.0 on the Behringer Wing for this to work. Uh, so if you don't see your screen like this, it is very possible you have the wrong firmware. So we're gonna go to library and channel presets here. I'm gonna make sure I'm in my internal. I'm gonna go into my library folder, into my global folder, and into my channel presets folder. Now, if you don't have these folders, uh, you can create them. They're just simply things that maybe came by default or I created them. So I'm in my channel presets folder over here. You can see I have several channel presets already. Um, and it's pretty simple. You just click on channel. It shows that you're saving um, from uh, channel one here and what you're labeling it and you just click save it lets you Label it so in this case, I'm going to say Adeline and I have a Couple in here already. So I'm going to say vocal Adeline vocal Two in this case doesn't matter what you name it click save All right, so that is saved as a channel preset in your board. Now. Let's talk about recalling it. So let's go to channel three so channel three, you can see I have a very basic EQ set. It is definitely not the EQ that I had set for Adeline on channel one. So let's say this week, uh, she's gonna go ahead and sing on mic three, so we wanna recall her settings. So we're gonna, with vocal three selected, we're gonna go to library, we're gonna go to channel, and we're gonna browse and find that. Uh, so in my channel presets folder, there is my Adeline vocal two preset. So you see over here now, I'm copying currently that preset to channel one. So I can change this to channel three. And what do you wanna recall of that preset? So it does save everything in that channel strip in there. So you may not wanna recall everything. You know, it even saved the mute, the fader, everything that you saved, tags, some different things. So I'm gonna say none. And in this case, I just wanna bring in the EQ and I wanna bring in the compressor, which is under dynamics. So we'll just highlight those. And then we're gonna say load. And it says, are you sure? And that's fine. All right, so then if we go back to now channel three, you can see that exaggerated EQ that I saved earlier is now present on channel three. So that would be how you save a channel preset and then recall the channel preset. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.